Hello, this is Matt from tracymat.co.uk and from unboxings.com. We have the Toshiba Camellio S20 HD camcorder from Toshiba. Now let's do a quick unboxing video for you and then take a look at the hardware. So the camcorder itself is placed immediately on top. And it seems that every time we look at new camcorders, be it from Toshiba or any other manufacturer, there's always a claim that they are the smallest or among the smallest, lightest, thinnest HD camcorders in the world. And Toshiba aren't any different here in this respect. And when you hold it in your hand like that, you can actually see why it would be among the smallest. But we'll come back to that in just a moment and see what else we have in the box. And lots of accessories. So let's move all those out of the way. Okay, on top, firstly, we have uh, Oxoft software and user manual. Then we have uh, Video Deluxe 15 Plus and Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus trials on DVD. Uh, we have, uh, don't know what this is, I think that's something to do with the guarantee or something like that. We have uh, Addendum and Toshiba Warranty, which printing in a, printed in a variety of languages, and the Quick Start Guide which uh, initially appears to be anything but a quick, but it is only printed, well it's pr printed in a variety of languages in fact, so um, there isn't much to read in each section. I have a small pouch, uh, which is slightly padded and lined with a soft material, so with a velcro uh, fastened on the top, and a little belt loop, which is always handy. There's a cleaning cloth for the lens and the screen. We have a USB to mini USB standard style cable, presumably for transferring the footage from the camera onto a PC or Mac. Uh, a little lanyard or wrist strap bundled up. We have a charger, which uh, actually has a standard mini USB connector on it. So that's pretty cool in that we can charge, apparently it would seem, over USB. So that's very good. And then there's also the three pin UK plug to go along with that. But that's definitely an advantage being able to charge over USB. There's a European round style two pin plug to go along with it. Then there is a small tripod, which is one of these bendy style leg tripods that just uh, actually connects to the bottom of the camera. So that's a nice, uh, nice thing to be included as part of the accessories pack. We then have uh, looks like an HDMI cable. Let's have a look. Yep, so it's a standard. It's HDMI, so standard full size HDMI to uh, mini HDMI connector. That's pretty cool. Again, that's good to see that included. A lot of manufacturers are not including these things with uh, new products. And then finally, we have a video cable. So it's got a three and a half mil jack on one end and then uh, composite and just one audio connector there but it allows you to connect up to um, an external TV or whatever uh, without having to use HDMI. So let's take a look at around the camera itself. Let's say this is the Camellio S20. Uh, it's capable of full HD at 1080p. It's got a four, four times digital zoom, five megapixel uh, sensor, three inch LCD, takes SDHD memory cards and is YouTube ready, so it records in a YouTube friendly format. If we open up inside, we can see there's a pretty large screen inside, it's actually a three inch LCD, which is quite cool. Underneath we have a pre-record and a power button. On the back we have a series of controls, so there's a button here that would be just immediately under your thumb, which is the start and stop recording. Zoom control is actually on a variable spring-loaded mechanism there, so you can actually zoom in and out. And it's also a push button, so when you're looking at menus and so on, it will actually work as an OK. Uh, there's a series of other controls underneath. One is, uh, looks like skip, forwards and backwards, backlight, play and back. Cover just underneath here. Should just try and open. There, like so. Where we have the uh, video output connector, which is the three and a half inch jack one. Then we have the mini HDMI and then the USB, mini USB underneath, obviously for connecting up to your computer. On the bottom we have a quarter inch screw thread which will work with standard tripods or the little one that's supplied. And then an eyelet there for actually connecting up your wrist strap or if you wanted to like a neck strap or lanyard or whatever. On the front we have an LED style flash. 
and under there we obviously have the lens itself and inside obviously the sensor there's a focus control here as well so you've got one for mac the switch into macro and then like fairly normal mode and then underneath the top you have the space for the SD card so it takes full size SD card as well on the back we have the battery the battery is pre-installed and it has a little piece of plastic over the connectors so we'll just pull those off pop the battery back inside and pop that cover on and when we open up it does start up you see there's some lights around the controls here at the top so that's telling us that we're in video recording mode uh, is it touch screen? I don't think it is touch screen, I think you have to use the buttons here at the side so you can switch the modes so it's in full HD full HD there at the moment and we can cycle through how can we set set it into 720p WVGA, VGA uh, well, that appears to be the four modes that we've got there so generally I would be personally recording at 720p I think it's sufficient so we set that okay so we just set that mode we can come back out of there uh, look at the other things in the menu white balance uh, auto scene selection stabilization motion detection slow mode and time lapse mode that's quite cool sound TV language and time settings and then back to the actual recording mode settings so we just have a look in here and look at the slow motion modes uh, it's just an on off so we'll look at those when we come to do the review And there we go, so at the moment it's obviously not displaying much but that does work the zoom I think is purely digital don't think we have let's put it into macro mode I don't think we have an optical zoom, I think it is purely digital judging by the uh, images that we're getting there again yeah, no, I'll confirm that when it comes to do the full review as a camera it's extremely small and light easily slip in your back pocket uh, in terms of weight, uh, it's actually only 115 grams, so around about the same sort of weight as your average mobile. There's a built-in 128 mega flash memory, so you can record uh, a little on the internal memory, but certainly you're going to want to use uh, an SD card. Uh, you're only going to be able to record a matter of seconds, really, on HD uh, in uh, you know, 128 megs of memory. In terms of size, uh, it's 10 just over 10 centimeters from top to bottom, uh, or 17 millimeters thick and uh, just under 60 millimeters wide so quite small feels quite nice in your hand so this is the Toshiba Camellio S20 we'll have a full review for you over the next couple of weeks if you've already made up your mind though you can head over to it247.com where they have these in stock for under 140 pounds which seems really quite good value for money you might want to wait for the full review which will be available over the next couple of weeks in the meantime don't forget to follow us on twitter twitter.com slash tracy and matt and we'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracymatt.co.uk but for now thanks for watching